Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the models, we are going to work with the models and finally we are going to shape a little bit our Django application we are going to write the table that we are going to use to store the data Hey, okay. sounds great, but first of all let's, just, uh, let's be explain a little bit what our article or um, our post will contain to each article we need the following first title status just to make like like just to make it like uh, just to to have like a little draft or like post it so we can start it before for example we are like writing an article and then like when we finish we want to post it later we want a date of course and a category so we can like categorize our articles we want a picture for our articles of, of, of course the content tags and author okay great now let's start coding um, we need to go to the post app and then let go to the models okay here uh, we Django like automatically import the like this. We are going to use this to create our models. Um, like all the models first, they start with a class and, and a name. So, so class and then a name. You can you can name it articles or whatever you want. I will I will call it post. Right. Um, these classes, classes of models. That model. And yep. Let's start with a title. Title models. That no. Yeah. Models. That char field that's how you create char field we we have to give it a length just mass length I'll give it 250 and we can I like to give it like names it's just identifier like I will just give it like title this is great when you're working with international internalization and then we want a sloop and I will, I will explain more than about like what is that you will see why we need that there will be like slot field and then they will have a match name or um, yeah, I don't think we need to give it a match name. Unique match name of um, I don't know. Yeah, beverage name. I mean, like, sorry. Unique. True. It has to be unique. Okay. Status. Models that char film, and then let's create like a choices here. So we can create status choices. Um, then Uh, draft and draft um bullshit and bullshit yes publish yeah 
good. You can name it whatever you want. This is so like here we are basically saying like just um it will take like two two it will take our choices. People will, you will select like one like draft or or publish, right? It will be like a combo box and that's how I make it with choices. That's how you make it. Um, then you pass the and you pass uh, as the parameter you pass the this okay default the default uh, data will be like draft okay um, Yeah, and then verb verb was name. Status. Good. Now. Um. Okay, status. Now we need a date, right? Uh, publication date, I guess. Models. No, just <laughs> sorry. It's a date. Time field, right? Um, create it. Um, Category um, this there will be a foreign key of um, we're going to create a class card category, right? Just to Yes, and category. Um, what else? Picture, of course. We need a picture. There will be an image film. Um, this uploaded to, and then here. We need to specify a folder. So I will folder it will be like all blows. And then here we want to we want to like store the picture by date, right? So we don't have like a mess with pictures with for all all the the in one folder all the picture that we put like that we post like in every year. So let's post. Let's save it in a folder. Let's let's here um here we're going to put it in a year, and then and then uh, slash um month slash date good yeah so here it will load it in low uploads and then the year and then the month and then the date okay good um, picture then our content And then test film and then uh, let's give it 
Ja, ja. Ähm. Okay, content. And now we need uh, the author, right? Um, models that chair field um, default. Let's give it a default of anonymous. <laughs> Oops, yeah, anonymous. Um, bearer's name, out, created by, <laughs> okay, um, we have everything, I think, no, oh no, the tags, the tags will be a foreign key of, no, 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 no. We want a many um, um, many to many field tag. Okay. Um, Okay, so um, we uh, for for the slug, right? So when we create our article, we want to create a unique URL to each of our posts. For example, if you ask us to like any any news website, let's see, like any new news website. You can tell, like, for example, let's go, I don't know, like here, coronavirus. You can tell that it has a, basically, a URL with, with the, well, this one doesn't match, but it has a unique URL, for example, corona, hyphen, USA, hyphen, maps, USA, and hyphen, cases, right? Some, most of the times, this is created with the title, right? And it, it creates a unique URL. That's why we use Slug. Slug helps us to to do that. And and this is yeah. That's why we that's why we created Slug. Um, and there are many, 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 many um uh, type of like fields that you can use in your in your in your project for example if you go to the documentation in Django um, you, you type uh, models you will see uh, uh, field types you go here field types and you will see all the field oh, here's our sample with the the, the, the choices that I made um yeah there are so many so many fields that you can use i highly recommend to to read the documentation so you can learn more about the the, the field um yeah so um and the fields like foreign key many many too many field so we use it to create relationships between the models um yeah it's basically we're <laughs> we're the this is the the tinder of the data here <laughs> of course right now this this uh this model does, does not sit so we need to create them um um yeah so like here in the category um oh so we're, we're missing something here. Here we need to put um, let me see um, 
on delete oh, oops models uh, I think yes okay yes so oh, um so in this one we are basically he here telling Django uh, what to do if the pattern of the relationship gets deleted Cascade will erase their children, for example, like if you delete all, like all the like one category or something, it will delete all of their children, right? You, you, you need to specify on Django when you are creating a foreign key, you need to specify like what, what Django will do, like that's fine. You need to put like on delete, okay? Um, keep in mind that you must create these models before you make the relationship. What it means is that you don't create you don't create them after the the pause, for example, you cannot go here like a category, like like class category. No. You need to create them before before you make the relationship. For that reason we go on top. And now we write, um, and yeah, but just you cannot create a relationship that something that doesn't exist because remember the Python reigns from the from the top to the bottom. So let's now um, create these models. Okay, let's start with category. Uh, so classes of model category will have a title and let's give them a length of 10 then oops title slug of Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just put that. Okay. Um. Yes, it was a one hundred and fifty. Yep. Um. Why we create a slug for category? Remember that we are going to, when we click on the categories, we want to show all the paths. So we'll make a URL for category, for each category. So that's why we have a slug, a slug for, for this one. Now let's create uh, our tags, right? Model. It's the same thing. You can. Our field messing of fifty. Fifty is that like a yeah, it's a big one. Yeah, let's just put let's put fifty. Just in case some people get creative creating tags. And the same. Oops. Oh yeah, I always forget. <laughs> it has to be unique because we don't want to repeat the titles, right? We don't want to repeat repeat the URLs. Okay, uh, we have everything. I think we have um, our models created, right? Um, this is basically like a like three tables for a database: a category table, tag table. And post table. Um, now we have now that we have created our models, let's see with our database. 
And the first thing that we need to do, we need to activate this um, this post app. So let's in 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 our Django project. Let's go to Django. Let's go to settings. And and here in install apps, as you can see, it's like just a bunch of like default Django stuff. Let's go here, click enter, and then put the name of the of the app. In this case, it's post, and then add comma here, and save. Now we have our app activated, right? Now in the in the console, okay. Let's run Python manage that bike. Make migrations. Ooh. Okay, we have an error here. Test field is not defined. Hmm. Oh, hey, hey, we have an error here. We forgot to models that test field. Yes. Make migrations. Oh. We are getting an error here. It says um, cannot use an image field because pilot is not installed. Oh. Yeah, so um, this image field it doesn't come like directly from Django. Well, it comes from from the Django models fields, but they they need like this uh, library called Pillow. So uh, let's just install it, right? Um, you just run pip pip install Pillow. And yeah, boom, here we go. And now uh, it's been successful install. Let's run the command again. Make migrations. Oh, successful. Um, yeah, we just run the make, make migration. Now so let's make the mig. Uh, now let's run this command to migrate to migrate the the changes. Um, and as you can see, like all of the like all of the all of these uh, tables has been creating everything. This is very interesting, right? And now, yeah, now we, now let's play a little bit with the with the shell and insertion data. Type this command python manage.py shell. Now let, let me let me put this let me in let me put this a little bigger so you can see sorry you were trying to sum in Okay. Um, yeah. Well, the first thing that we need to do is create. A, let's create a category, right? So in order to do that, we need to Im let's import it from post dot models import category, right? Because yeah, that's how it is. Okay. Um, and now let's type category the objects dot all boom and as you can see it it, it returned a query set like with nothing here because we don't have any data so let's insert some data um, let's create a query it will be category we and now they will be equal to the model, right? And then let's put a, a title. 
we let's put the 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 field that we have, right? We have a title. Um, oops, yes, like that. <laughs> let's call it technology, comma, the slug. The slug will will automatically like turn all of these in in lowercase. So let's do that. Mm, yes. Um, so yeah, then let's click in it, and then we can just type query dot save like that. Boom. Here we go. Now, if you try to pull again, category dot objects dot all you will get now this um, category object and then one this is because we have this is the ID yeah and then you can you can use that like care query that um, ID I think boom one or query dot title technology works great um yeah let's just now exit the shield the shell the shell then exit boom and now we're still in our yeah that's how you play with the shell you can create and uh, insert some data you know just test and just to see if everything work is working fine and I will end this part here thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next video in the next video we're going to continue shaping our channel application yeah thank you so much for watching